the recovery in the world's largest economy is almost a decade old, so too is the bull market in U.S. equities. After their tripling in value since 2009, you're probably wondering how long the U.S. markets can hold their gains. If you're invested in Asia, you're likely wondering how much lower markets can go, even as the Chinese economy keeps growing. We think that the world economy can keep growing, but at the same time, we're mindful that today's winners will not be tomorrow's. That makes it an appropriate time to consider protecting gains you've made over recent years while still seeking out opportunities. It means buying when others are fearful and assets are cheap. How exactly might you preserve your portfolio at times like these? When global growth slows and the leading market, the United States, is in a late stage bull market, investors face a dilemma. Remain invested and suffer losses when the next downturn arrives? Try to time the markets and miss out if markets keep on rising? Or pursue strategies that help strengthen portfolios, making them more resilient in the face of uncertainty? We strongly prefer the third option. We believe that clients should remain invested through market cycles while making their portfolios safer and stronger. Here's one idea that does just that. With a strategy that also seeks to preserve your principal, you participate in any market gains and potentially limit the losses in your portfolio should markets fall. Such strategies could replace some or all of your exposure to equities, fixed income, currencies, and mutual funds, and may alter the risk profile of your portfolio. They can also help you build resilient exposure if you've been waiting in cash to enter the markets. We also believe that the time to enter strategies that help preserve your investment is when the cost of doing so is low. If a downturn arrives, it may already be too late to safeguard your assets this way. Over recent years, many investors have taken on leverage in order to seek enhanced returns. Borrowing money to finance positions is a double-edged sword, though. Just as it can magnify gains, it also magnifies losses if markets go against you. Rising short-term interest rates have been pushing up the cost of leverage lately. But yields on the longer-term assets that leveraged investors typically invest in haven't risen by as much. So the returns available from leveraging up may be shrinking. Even in today's conditions, though, using leverage can still make sense. One approach we recommend is hedging loan exposures to mitigate rising rates. Such exposures can reduce or even fully offset the impact of rising leverage costs. If you're unsure about how much leverage is appropriate for you, our Global Investment Lab can help you explore the risks and opportunities. Having a global portfolio is something that we always recommend. In today's conditions, it is even more important than usual. Late in a cycle, market volatility, or a sudden downturn are bigger risks. A global portfolio made up of different asset classes from around the world has performed much better than an undiversified portfolio in this environment. However, we see many portfolios that are highly concentrated in particular regions, asset classes, or currencies. Our advice couldn't be clearer. Go global now and get the additional benefits of regional diversification. Nearly all fundamental downturns are regional. To help you do this, ask us for your personalized Outlook watch list report comparing your portfolio to the global asset allocation we recommend for you. When you are worried about the state of the global economy and are highly concentrated in one market or one asset class, diversification becomes your best friend. So are strategies that change the risk return profile of your portfolio. So is a reduction of risk by reducing leverage or fixing the cost of leverage if you are a borrower. All of these strategies allow you to remain invested through market cycles, a strategy that could assist in building your long-term wealth. This is something you can do with your city private bank as your partner. You can find out more by reading our Outlook 2019. Safeguarding assets, we think the time to act is now.